match day two here in the Bundesliga. Dortmund hosting Hertha BSC. Can someone help? Jude Bellingham with a pass! Oh my god, it's 1-0! Wait here! Wait here! Yes! But don't judge, it's 1-1! One, one. And hey, you never know! Numbers in the box! There it is! It's 2-1! No! Oh my god, we suck! Cholo! 2-2! Ah, two, two. Oh, no, 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 get the way! Oh my god, 3-2! Dogen Hazard off the bench. And Dortmund may have won this one. And it's not been the best of starts for new coaches Julian Nagelsmann and Zabi Alonso. Both coaches have their teams respectively at the bottom of the table at the moment. Bayern Munich, of course, the shocking one, losing their first two games here in the Bundesliga. Whereas Zabi Alonso at Hertha, they've shown a little bit of promise. The 3-2 loss to Dortmund did show some signs, but they're still winless after two. Early days yet, but the pressure already beginning to mount. All right, welcome back. It's episode two of the Hertha Berlin Master League. Guys, I was blown away by the response to yesterday's debut episode. Thank you so much. Keep the support coming. Now, in today's episode, we have the transfer window, which is massive. I've taken into account a lot of your suggestions. And we also get into some Bundesliga action. We have Greta Bremen, the team, I believe, of my man Dennis in the comments. Shout out to Dennis, left an incredible comment on the last episode but we're playing Bremen then we have a derby against Union Berlin what a big match that is then we take on Mainz Leipzig and we'll finish up the episode with the DFB Pokal against Bayer Leverkusen the German Cup there so if you're enjoying everything guys don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe if it's your first time here let's get into this episode all right guys press conference times and you guys are incredible so many press conference questions I may have to start limiting it to three. So what I will say for the future is if you see someone that's asked a question similar to yours, just give that comment a like or comment under their comment so I can see them easier. So first off, Jonathan and Mart are both kind of asking, what kind of football do we plan on playing? Obviously with Zabi Alonso, we would love to control the ball, love to have some kind of possession here. We have no idea how it's going to play out though and we have to adjust to the team. That's the plan for now. I will say this though guys, look into Xavi Alonso's tactics in real life with Real Sociedad's B team. They're very, very interesting and I may start to implement that as the season goes on. I'll talk to you more about that in future episodes. And finally here from Sheldon McDonald, longtime supporter. Thank you for your question. He's asking, if we can get daily uploads, how often are we getting it? So here's the thing guys, I would love to do daily uploads but until the channel's a little bit bigger, I won't be able to commit that time. So I will say guys, if you wanna see daily uploads, just keep liking and commenting as you have been. All right, regarding the objectives guys, I'm gonna hold off on it for a couple more episodes. Shout out to Colin D, longtime subscriber, big friend of the channel. Xavi Alonso is actually one of his favorite players of all time, so I love that you know he can enjoy this series, but he brought up here, it's a bit too soon for objectives. I want you guys to get an idea of who we purchased, what the team is looking like. So after this episode, I will then put them in the next one so you can keep dropping some suggestions. Thank you to everyone who dropped suggestions so far. All right, so I've shortlisted some players here, guys, looking at them for transfers. So a lot of these guys I may not be purchasing right now. I just want to watch their growth over the next six months to a year. But first off, Sambia here, incredible player. Look how many positions he can play. He can play right and left back, right and left midfield, all across the midfield, even in the front line. He's fairly pacey, but he has one touch pass and pinpoint crossing. This guy is someone I'm interested in purchasing right now. Matias Rojas, the Paraguayan center midfielder who's playing in the Argentine league now. Look at his place cooking and curl. Look at his kicking power. Look at all the dribbling stats, his passing, everything. He could bring so much to our midfield. He could really be our engine. Up next, Laszlo Penis, the Slovakian. He's from Mönchengladbach, but he's now on loan at Osberg. But they're considering moving him on, actually. So I'm looking at him here. Pretty solid all around. Knows the Bundesliga well, which makes him an attractive option. Not too expensive. 
We also have Ovi Ejaria, the skillful man from England, playing with Reading right now in the championship, but he could make the jump up to the Bundesliga and I think fit in well. A lot of English players have been leaving the league finally in the past few years, so I could see Ejaria maybe thriving in Germany as well. Now, Manu Merlanis is exactly who I'm going for. In fact, this is the number one target. We want someone to replicate what Zabi Alonso did on the football pitch for so many years, and Merlanis looks to have the potential to do so. Look at his low pass, look at his lofted pass, his tight possession and ball control. He could really control things in midfield, and a big added bonus is his ball winnings at 82. So he's only 21 years old. He's in the Segunda Division right now at Almeria. So this would be a big pickup for us. Yassin Benrahu, the Moroccan attacking midfielder, winger, very skillful, young, exciting. He starts for Nîmes right now. So I think we're gonna let him stay there for at least the first half of the season, see how he develops. Juan Jose Macias, the Mexican wonder kid, Playing for Chivas de Guadalajara right now. Can he make the jump to the Bundesliga? We will find out. Now that transfer fee is massive. I'm not willing to pay that unless we see some things happen on deadline day. So he's a maybe, but it's someone we're looking at long term. Let's get some bids in and let's see what happens. The transfer window. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. No one's bidding for Hans Joachim Rieger. And Hertha Berlin releasing two players here. Florian Palmowski, the young German goalkeeper, he has been released. And Maurice Kovic, another youngster, both released from the club, not in Zabi Alonso's plans. And Hertha Berlin have made a decision in their left back conundrum. And Marvin Plattenhart is off to Monaco, a bid coming in. They were looking to secure a loan deal for Luca Nets, but a bid never came in. Marvin Plattenhart loved the idea of playing European football again with Monaco. So he's off for 3.9 million. Edward Lowen is also out of the club. He's heading over to Russia where he played for CSK Moscow. 4.3 million euros for the holding midfielder. Zabi Alonso, no use for him. And we've been able to secure two signings in the market. First off, Manu Merlanis brought in from Almeria by way of Villarreal. Zabi Alonso requested this transfer specifically. Very excited to hopefully groom Merlanis into a player like he was. 6.6 .6 million decent deal he's taking the step up from segunda and coming to the bundesliga where he'll play at the heart of the Hertha berlin midfield a talented passer zabi alonso was very excited by the prospect of merlan is coming into the side and another signing from the lower leagues this time from the championship it's ovi ajaria the former liverpool man now coming in 5.7 million from reading the talented midfielder he can play center midfielder attacking midfield very skillful on the ball be interesting to see how he fits into the midfield but hector berlin making two midfield signings here on deadline day they are ready for the bundesliga season not the best start so far but hopefully they can right the ship the reason i don't want to bring in rojas despite the fact i was so excited for him is if we bring in rojas we're definitely burying hans Joachim Rieger and I want to at least give him half a season before I make that decision. It's transfer deadline day. Let's have a look at the biggest moves in the window. Gianluigi Donnarumma is off to Atletico Madrid for a whopping 97 and a half million euros. Why Atletico Madrid are buying a backup keeper of this quality befuddles us here. However, maybe Yano Black is moving on at some point. But Donnarumma leaving Milan off to Atletico. Another big move for a goalkeeper here, Andre Onana, after serving his suspension for illegal substances, is now heading over to PSG, where he'll likely take over for Kiela Navas. Good signing there for PSG, Onana. 78 million. Surprised this had to pay that much despite his issues off the field. But talented keeper, hopefully, can get his career back on track. Dortmund have swooped in with some really interesting signings this window. Bubaka Kamara comes in from Marseille for 65 million. The center back, he can play holding midfield as well. And Dortmund went to England for their next two talents. Eberichi Eze coming in from Crystal Palace, 39 million euros for the young English player. Of course, Dortmund have had success with the likes of Jude Bellingham 
and Jaden Sancho. So, of course, you'd expect Eze to excel there as well. They've also loaned in Dan James to Manchester United. So, really interesting squad being built here by Borussia Dortmund. And a move that's sure to make the Inter Milan fateful upset. Mauro Icardi is off to City Rivals AC Milan. After a loan deal was reached with PSG, Milan are paying a whopping 12 million for this loan, but they have an option to buy Icardi back into Serie A, but this time on the other side of Milan. Ben White leaving Brighton and heading over to Everton for 42 million. Quite expensive. Everton shoring up their defense. And finally, a year ago, Mark Rocca left Espanyol, coming to Bayern Munich, hoping to develop as a player. However, he's found playing time hard to come by. He's off to Lazio, where they're hoping he can replace Lucas Levia. Debuts for Ejaria and Manu Merlanis. The reader on the right, Radonjic on the left, Piatek up top. Cunha on the bench today, he's not on great form. We'll bring him off the bench if we need to. All right, Hertha Berlin still in search of a victory here in the Bundesliga. They've made a couple signings and now they're taking on Bruder Bremen. And one thing guys, with this mod, it's made free kicks way harder. So when I do square free kick, it's gonna mean something. Let's see if it's here. Dorita, uh, oh, not a bad effort. Whipped in and... Oh my god, it's 1 0 Werder Bremen. And then Bomb scores for the visitors. The misery continues here for Hertha Berlin. Whose fault is this one? Vodonjic, what are you doing? New players, old players, it doesn't matter. Hertha Berlin can't seem to win football games. Werder Bremen just cutting Hertha Berlin apart. Augustinsen. Long ball, header, 2-0. It's a disaster here. Mulwall. Minish that, oh, good defending there. That's Cassie, uh, half time. 2-0, Werder Bremen. All right, let's take a look around the Bundesliga. Bayern Munich finally securing three points. Julian Nagelsmann getting his first win as Leroy Sané with the double as Munich. 4-2 over Augsburg. Elsewhere in Frankfurt, big matchup between Eintracht and Borussia Dortmund. And Jadon Sancho with the solitary goal here as Dortmund wrap up three points. And a bit of a shock result to the Veltins Arena. Schalke beating Leipzig 1-0. I mean, Harit on the score sheet there. 4-3-3 now. Look at Bakio comes on. And Augustinsen. Into the wall. Touch the space here. Off the post. Could have been three. Abu and Zibo, can he give us some kind of spark? Oh, Abu fouled there immediately. And it's the Rita again. Off the crossbar! What a free kick that was! Derrida! Around his man! Oh, the poor pass! Uh. Derrida, P attack. Podonjic! Oh, I'm going Zebo! What is that? I just fix it on. Right, good effort, good move. Oh! Mistake! Piatek gets one back. Oh, yes. Gets his first goal of the season. Come on. A silly mistake here at the back. Look at this. And Piatek, Johnny on the spot. All right. Piatek actually forgot I had him scheduled to come off. So that was his last contribution. A draw here would be huge for our confidence despite how this one started. In fact, even more so because of how this one started. Here's Kuttner. Oh, my God. No. Oh, wait. He's brought down! Is that a penalty? Oh, it's at the edge of the box. Fanta here, he's done a good job today. Chest tripped up. Derrida! Oh! Gunter! No, that was poor. Derrissen? Oh, that's a foul. Free kick? Ah, I still don't think we can kill one in from here. Let's see. Ah, oh, it's too high. This mod makes it so much harder, but it's good. It's going to be worth it when we finally do score a free kick. Termina Riga. Derrissen. Touching his place, Derrida. Malanis. 
Manu Milanis! Oh, wow! His strike saved. What an effort. So many players pushing forward now. The reader has room to run. The reader, oh, playing through, but no one's there. The pressure's on. Manu Milanis! Oh, it's wide at the death. Oh, it could have been it. Oh, Zabby's in pain. There it is, 2-1. Werder Bremen, our third straight loss in the Bundesliga. The papers will be going mad with this one. But some encouraging signs in the second half. Well, we're dead last in the Bundesliga. We are in 18th position. All right, let's see. This can't be good. The press will be muttering about your exit soon. What? We just started? All right, now we have a Berlin Derby against Union Berlin. What a time to turn it around if we can. All right, I know we've been changing the formation a lot and that's likely contributing to our poor team spirit as well, but I still don't feel comfortable with anything. So today we are making some changes. Luca Netz comes in. He's gonna start at left back. So is Hans Joachim Rieger. Tussard comes in as well. Dorita's gonna play up top with Cunha and Piatek. All right, the Berlin Derby, here we go. We need to win, it is a must, there is no debate. Union Berlin, Hertha Berlin, Hertha Berlin, rooted to the bottom of the Bundesliga table right now. Stop there, Terence early, but already, oh my God, already, Scholau can save and he has to make a second save as well. On. Oh, well touched on there. That was genius and shot out. Oh, what a save. What a save. The chest enough. And we get it clear. Here's Luca Nets. And here's Hans Rieger. Hans driving run here from Rieger. Inside B attack. Oh, no. What is he doing? That should have been. What a run from Rieger. Actually, he forced the B attack again. It's strike. Saved by Karius and cleared. Nets, Rieger, great stuff. Luca Nets, and oh, ah, straight to the keeper. But the youngsters showing a fearlessness that hurt they have lacked so far this season. Too sorry. Nets. The reader. Oh. Just causing trouble in there. Milanis takes it. Bigger. Into space, Milanis. Looks it in, header. There it is. 1 0. Great football by Hertha Berlin. And it's Christoph P attack. Zabi's loving that. Fantastic football here. Milanis over to Rieger. He tries to reverse the pass. Dorita so smart there to play it over. And what a cross from Alanis. There's a finish. And oh, that's a great pass, though. Oh, sure now. Great save. Oh, boy. And he's still chasing. And he's completely beaten there. Oh, great defending by who else but Rieger. And Milanis, oh, almost, almost. Hans Joachim Rieger is reading the game. Good slides in here. Chess stops the ball, great stuff. He's having a hell of a derby. Now up the pitch, might get caught out here. Looks in, oh, it misses everyone. We're very lucky. Milanis, great ball. And Zafrik. Actually, why not? He's he's going here, the Dutchman. Top of the box, Kunya! Oh, yes! It is so sweet! 2 0. What a goal right before the half. Beautiful football. What a run here from Zafrik up the wing. But the cross is excellent, and the finish from Mateus Kunya is beautiful. Half a two, Union nil. The skill here to catch this on the volley. So perfectly into the back of the net. Great stuff. Matthias Cunha. And there you go. What a half from us when we needed it most. 
Great stuff, 2 0. And let's check out the news around the Bundesliga in their classic Bayern Munich 1 0 over Borussia Dortmund, Robert Lewandowski as they shut out Erling Braut Haaland and Leipzig 4 1 over Armenia Bielefeld. Marcel Sabitzo with a brace in that one. Corner kick here. And Zifrik kicks here and smart turns. Piatek picks it up. He has no help, but why not? It's going to run. Inside to Cunha. Oh, great football. Here is Mateus Cunha. And it's back by Lattice. Oh, great strike and save. Stone in. And look at Luka Nets again. Oh, that was a mistake. John Chapo And, oh my God, what a poor giveaway. It's 2-1. Musa. And Vigor. Oh, ho, 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 ho. good effort. Good effort. Probably wasn't that close, but the youngster is showing off today. He has the most touches in the game. Young Hans. Boyata, that's a powerful header. And the reader to the man at the moment. And Rieger. That's a great ball. Franz Cunha keeps it in. Head it. Head it again. Rieger volley. Oh, man. Oh, no foul there. Union, it's in. Oh, tips over the bar. Whooped in. Oh, free header. Oh, we're lucky there. All right, two start coming off. We're beginning on Ajaria. Ajaria sharp there. Here he is. The ball. Cunha. And he finds the attack. The attack. Oh, my God. Really? Ah, oh, it should have been the third goal of the game. Cunha. Ajaria. Ah, poor pass. But that is great stuff. That was excellent. Ajaria into space. Cunha. Ajaria. Oh, he bucks it. Off the, <laughs> off the crossbar. What a goal that could have been. Oh, Milan is actually beaten there, but Rieger, look at him. This kid, a star is born. Hans Rieger. Oh my God, don't lose the ball now. Oh, Milan is in the way again. Look at that, just clears it. Whipped in, P attack. Oh, how is that not in the back of the net? The freak. Whoa, no, 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 no. Manu Milanis! Oh, we'll take it. We will take the red card if we have to. It is a red. He took one for the team. That's going to make him a hero. Back at the Olympus Stadion. We had to do it. Ziff week with a suicidal pass. What a game for Hans Joachim Rieger. And Hertha Berlin will finally get three points here in the Bundesliga. They win the Berlin Derby 2-1. Some excellent football in the first half. Not as good in the second, but he saw some glimpses of confidence here. And Xabi Alonso gets his first win. So there we are, 15th in the table. Big things are coming. All right, and a trio of questions here from Davi Blizanki and SC Barcelona. Basically, they're all asking expectations for the season. Now, honestly, I'm just hoping for like a top 10 finish. I would love to say Europa League. I would love to have a cup run. But realistically, if we can finish within the top 10, establish ourselves as a team, first season with Zabi, show some promise, get an established brand of football being played, I'll be really happy with that. And finally here, Richard Desmond's asking about Matthias Cunha. Does he have the potential to carry us? I hope so. Obviously, if you know Hertha Berlin's history, they have an affinity for high talented Brazilian attackers, most notably Marcelinho. So Cunha hopefully can follow in his footsteps. We will be looking at the Brazilian league to hopefully find a next big talent. All right, getting ready to face Mainz. As Cassibar will miss this one for two starts. 
All right, some more Bundesliga action today. Hertha Berlin back at the Olympus Stadion. They're taking on Mainz today. They got their first victory in the last game, the Berlin Derby. Rieger, look at that pass. Too sorry. Pieter. Luka Bakio. Great work. Pieter. Ah, save. It's fair. Mainz, get ball. And it's back. Oh, it's hit wide by Kaysen. The freak. Ah. We're just taking too long in the ball sometimes. Kaysen in. Boyata, yet again. What? <laughs> what a season he's having. Too sorry. Wider. The touch inside. That's a good football. That's a good ball. That's a good strike. And that's a good stop. Oh, but here's the attack. Oh, look at back here. Look at back here. Oh, what a goal that could have been. Cuts past this man, gets inside, and tries to come back near post, but it's safe. The reader whips it in. Oh. It's in the box, it's bouncing around. It's still alive. Two side, doing well. Cunha. Oh, and he's hit in the face. That could be a booking. Let's see. Yes, and Kunde goes into the book. Just on the edge of the box again, Cunha. Bigger! Oh, it's sin! Oh, it's clear to hands, your key reader. Oh, look at Boyata. Right before the half. Half time, nil nil. All right, let's take a look around the Bundesliga here. Eintracht Frankfurt 4 1 over Union Berlin, and it's a hat trick from Luka Jovic, a first half hat trick. What a result there. The Hoffenheim duo, Christoph Baumgartner and Andre Kamaric has Hoffenheim up 3-0 over RB Leipzig. What a result there. And Wolfsburg continue to climb off the bottom of the table while Weghorst with the goal as they beat Borussia Mönchengladbach 1-0 at the Volkswagen Arena. Oh, great move. Nope, strike. Oh, it's right. And it's in space. Oh, stark nutmeg there. And he's in! Oh, oh my god, he's missed. Grayson, I have no words. Might tear us apart here on the counter. Everything's done right. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Good football for Mainz. But Boyata just tracking everything. Rieger. Great ball. Lucanets. Great hard here from Lucanets. And Lucanets. Lucanets. Oh, ho, ho. what a goal. One nil. And Lucanets has gone all the way. What a moment for the youngster. Look at this. Nets just would not give up. Right down the wing. And they keep expecting him to cross. He just goes on his own. Bigger. Oh, what a ball. Didn't get through, but I love the thinking. Oh, no, 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 no. Get it. Yes. Oh, it's still in. Get back and go. Ah, oh, they messed it up. And up the pitch. Boyata. Oh, Boyata took himself out the play. And, oh, my God. Grayson and chipped him like Ronaldinho on David Seaman in 2002. Wow, what a goal, it's 1-1. One, one. That's incredible, what a strike. Ah, Shola caught off his line. We knew we brought Bayata out of position, but this finish, oh, that's beautiful. 
Nets up the pitch. Oh! Wow. 93rd minute. We could have lost it right there. Looks like it'll be a draw. Fair result, I guess. We'll take it. 1-1. One, one. A wonder strike from Kaysen. Tying it up. All right, still 15th in the table. And now we take on Leipzig away from home. Oh boy. Oh, and Zebo is developing. I have to play him. All right, here we are at Red Bull Arena. RB Leipzig taking on Hertha Berlin. Andrew Kibrig. Ah, that was poor. And then Cuckoo. Oh no, it's too easy. Poulsen. He's overhit it. What a save. Luca Nets looks to get it clear. Kevin Campo. Poulsen. Stark. Oh my god. Stark. 1-0. Ah, Kristen and Cuckoo. There we go. Bigger. And Zebo. Be attack! Oh, it's over the bar. Great football, though. Excellent stuff. Boyata. Oh, look at this kid. Hans. Inside! Be attack! No, not a good finish. Oh, Hans did so well that he's at the goal. Well, Anis, good work. And Zebo! And there it is! Oh, the crossbar! No! All this good football for nothing! <laughs> Look at the football! Look at the football! Rigger! Oh! The attack! Oh! No! Malanis! Oh, and Zemo! Oh my god, what did they just do? Cunha! Rieger! It's punched! Oh! Half time! 1 0 Leipzig! A quick look around the Bundesliga again. Bayern Munich's defense continues to be leaky. Leonardo Bittencourt with a double as Werder Bremen run out 4-1 victors over Bayern Munich. Nagelsmann, what are you doing elsewhere? Borussia Dortmund able to win 3-1 away from home. A brace there from Erling Braut Haaland, who's up to five goals now. He's the leading scorer in the league. Not a big surprise there. He is an incredible talent. Kevin Campbell again. He's been everywhere today. Good football there. Adams. Long ball there. Poulsen knocks it down. Great football. Poulsen. 2 0. He's been great today. And. Oh. It's a freak strike. Saved over the bar. Going here for the Rita. Oh, look at back here. Oh, no. That was such a poor header. It was a free header in the box. And he put it wide. Zabi is enraged. Good there. Get back here. Oh, Rieger! Oh my god, Rieger. <laughs> ah, there it is. We're going to lose this one 2 0. We're outclassed today. And now, DFB Pokal, round two. Ah, I don't want to go out the cup. <laughs> I don't want to go out the cup. All right, here's how we're lining up for the cup Cordoba, Dilverson, and Enzibo up top, Dorita. Hans, Joachim, Rieger in midfield with Manu Morales and then Boyata, Toruna Riga, Luka Nets and Middlestadt at right back. Yes, he can play a little bit of right back. Here we are, dear people, Karl. Knockout football here. Leverkusen, Hertha Berlin. The football from Leverkusen. They're moving it well and we're pushing forward too far. And Demari Gray, he's too fast. Oh, he cuts inside. Taruna Riga, oh my god. And Arabi missed. Look at the Mari Gray here. Whoop. <laughs> Took him out. But the finish, poor. 
Jari, it's a Cordoba. Oh. No Cordoba. Knocked off the ball. That's not an easy task. And Leverkusen free again. And a strike. Oh, it's wide. Riga Cordoba. Look at Hans Jockey Riga. Who made this kid? He's so good. Great ball inside Cordoba. Good flick. Not the best finish, but it was a weaker flick. Better Robbie. A great tackle for Minnesota. Cordoba. And Zebo. Cordoba. John Cordoba. And there it is. Oh, what a save! Who's offside? Oh my god. How did he save this? What a stop from Hadeki. The football for Leverkusen. Great stuff there inside. Oh, that's weak. Oh my god, it's 1 0. Wow. Get me by. And oh. Oh my god, Leverkusen playing us so tough right now. Oh my god, no one's there. Oh, and they're carving us apart. Oh, you're a sign. Let's see. There was some. Oh, what a bad ball. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, look at that. Ah, oh, Leon Bailey. Justin! 2 0. Hello, are you? And yeah. He attacked! You get one back. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Miller stand there doing really well. Getting inside. Finding Cunha. Good ball to Pia Tech. He's taken out. Good finish. Padova. Oh, Riga! Padova! Ah. Bailey header! Ah, there it is. Uh, Lario puts us out of our misery. His second of the game. And P attack! And it's still here! And... Hat trick! 4-1. Ugly, ugly, ugly. 4-1 here. Kicked out of the cup. Yeah. Alario destroys us. We were very poor today. Yeah. Elsewhere in the cup, Bayern Munich are through. Frankfurt are through. Leipzig, Hoffenheim, Augsburg. Surprising Dortmund. Leverkusen, as you saw. Gladbach and Wolfsburg. Hopefully, we do better next time out. But it is going to be a struggle if you're enjoying it, guys. Please make sure to give the video a like. Don't forget to drop your comments below. And next time out, we take on Cologne, Freiburg, Mushing Gladbach, who are first in the league, I believe, third right now. Augsburg, Stuttgart, so some easier fixtures. See you guys next time. Take care. Stay safe. Peace.